In this video, I will show you why most people don't approach silencer rewards effectively and how you can get in the top 10% in 1-2 to two months using my strategies. Coming right up! First, the coffee. Now, in my opinion, First, we need to approach Silencio effectively. What I mean by that? Well, there are two ways you can earn rewards. You can dedicate most of your time, you can grind and try to earn as much tokens as possible, which is one way of doing things, of course, but I personally didn't do that. And second is to Thing that Silencio is it's not a sprint, it's a marathon and in order to actually gain the most tokens we need to be very consistent and to be very consistent means that you need to integrate Silencio into your day-to-day -day, not, the, not the other way around. Now of course if for example you are like me and you don't get your daily steps this is a great way in order to force yourself to go outside and make your steps and in the process also earn some Silencio rewards. Sure. But I think in general the best way to approach this is with a strategy in mind, which I will share with you today, and also to integrate it as part of your daily life. The first way to earn tokens, which is the quickest, which is probably the easiest to do and earns the most tokens related to the effort you put in are the venue check-ins. So what do we mean by that? You need to go to the Silencio app and hit the Silencio button which is here down below and here you should select venue check-in. Now of course you need to be in an area where there are venues in order to check in. So for example right now I am not in such an area. But if you do any kind of thing, if you are a living breathing human, you need to go to groceries, you need to go out with friends. So every time you do that just try to make a venue check in and if there is any around you, you will be able to, to make such a measurement. Now, why that this is so simple and effective? Uh, because in 15 seconds, which it takes the duration of the recording, plus a few seconds to answer those few questions, you get 20 tokens, which is pretty good. And probably most people think that this is like the easiest way and the way to do the most tokens, but it's not. I will show you in a few moments how you can earn way more tokens than that. But again, this is very simple and very effectively. Regardless of other strategies you are using, when you are outside and remember the Silencio, just get your phone and do such a venue check-in. So, what is the second way? Well, of course, we are going to talk about quests. What are these quests? Quests are fun and simple way in order to earn tokens. So in order to see them and what you need to do in order to, to get the tokens, you need to tap, you need to tap on your profile picture. And here, besides all the stats, you have quests. For each quest, you see a picture, a title, and what is the assignment needed to to get that reward and also if you claimed it or not the progress towards it so it's very simple to see what kind of thing what quests are here and how further are you into making them possible so don't underestimate the quests they are an amazing way in order to get a lot of tokens and by a lot of tokens I mean easily 15,000 tokens if you do most of these quests I mean the ones which are pretty easy to do now if you look for example for uh, the ultimate Silencio Guru 
I think that is pretty hard. I am still in progress with it and I don't know when I will be able to, to accomplish this quest. But most of them, as you will see, are pretty easy, especially the, the first ones. Now, why this matters is because they also matter in the airdrop. And for that, don't forget to subscribe and you will be notified when I will share my tutorial and my guide to this Lencio airdrop. Now, the third way in which we can earn tokens is related to open measurement. And um, yeah, that's pretty general. I think most of you know how to do that. And how many rewards do you get for it? Well, you actually can see right here. You have 0.5 points for a minute, 0.25 for one hexagon covered, 0.5 for one hexagon that is brand new, that you actually measure for the first time there, and the strikes, which we'll talk about a little bit. Now, probably think that if you do a little quick math, you will see that using the highest time frame of open measurement, you will get like 15 points. Plus probably a few for hexagons, let's say 16 or 17 points. Now compare that to the venue check-in, you the initial feeling probably is that it's not worth it. Well, I think you should reconsider. Because, first of all, related to open measurements, there are quite a few quests. So by doing open measurements, you can unlock quests with a few thousand points on them. And here is the big tip. There are two quests which are related to strikes. And I think that Silencio actually guides us very good into making the most out of it. And by that, I mean you can earn multiple points for an open measurement. So only for open measurements here, the venue check-ins are static at 20 points regardless of your strike. And you can multiply them. You can multiply them by 5%, 10%, all the way to 250%, which will get you after 100 days of strike. And after that, if you maintain your strike, you maintain that 250% bonus. Now, if you think a little bit, I'll actually show you an example here, because I did it a few days ago. You can see here that I did a 50 minute walk where I covered a few hexagons. I have my 250% multiplier and I also got a 1.2 multiplier uh, the, from the gamification and I got a 630 coins as a reward for such an open measurement. Now compare 63 points with Tandri and we can see that we have quite a big difference. You can get even more. There are multiples of, of up to 10%. I've never got one, but I know it's in the system. The highest I have hit was a four times multiple. Now think about this. If you hit such a thing with the 100 day strike, you can easily get a few hundred tokens only from an open measurement. Can you get that from, from venue check-ins? Sure, but I think it's much harder, especially when we get to such large numbers. Now, one thing that I can tell you, which is very cool about strikes, is that Silencio is very, very forgiving about this. So what I mean by that? Each day, so 24 hours, you will get a new multiple. But in order to not lose your strike, you actually get 36 hours. So one and a half days. And you also get another safety thing in which if you lose your strike because you forgot or something happened, you can redeem that strike by using a few tokens. Now. Of course, the bigger the strike, the more tokens you'll need to use to resume it. But I think that is amazing the fact that you can actually 
resume the strike and not fear that if you missed one or two days you're going to lose like three months worth of strike which is like 100 days so silencio is plead is giving us a lot of tools and a lot of wiggling room in order to provide the most now probably you are asking well what do they get out of this well they get measurements which is exactly what the project needs and wants from us i think it's a very good win-win situation i think their strategy is a very good one on this so this was the third one now probably asking which is the fourth well the fourth one are actually the referrals as you can see here i have 152 referrals now of course i am a youtuber i created videos about silencio i was one of the first who created the video about silencio so probably my case is not a typical one but if you have a few friends who are into crypto or are they are open to the idea of crypto because guess what in order to participate in silencio currently you don't need a wallet you don't need to need you don't need to know anything about crypto you just need to install the app and start using it so my suggestion is try to see with a few of your friends if they are open to such a thing suggest them this but don't try to push it from my experience it's not a good idea to push uh, this project onto them but for the few of them who are actually interested and find this as a pretty nice gamification you will get 5% of their earnings as long as they use the project and yes this probably might be the hardest way to earn tokens so far but as you can see here even though my example is not a typical one I want to show you that it's possible to earn and this can be very powerful so you can earn from referrals you can earn from quests you can earn from venue check-ins and especially from open measurement with strikes all of this combined can earn you tokens my girlfriend started using silencio a few months ago more heavily and she currently has right now 25,000 tokens and once again, neither of us put a really emphasis on going outside and doing check-ins and making this like a strategic thing. Yes, we paid attention to it and we made the quests, but we did it by integrating Silencio into our lifestyle, into our normal habit, not making something out of this that will consume our life so this is the video for today i hope that you liked it and remember to subscribe and like it because that will help because i will create more content about silencio until next time see ya